Have you ever wondered why some TV signals are crystal clear while others are weak and grainy? Or why modern digital TV uses different frequencies compared to the old analog systems? In this video, we'll break down the difference between VHF and UHF, how TV signals are amplified, and how RF networking helps distribute signals across multiple TVs. Whether you're a tech-savvy installer or just curious about how TV signals work, this video will make it all simple. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about VHF and UHF. These are two frequency bands used for TV broadcasting. VHF very high frequency 4318 megahertz channels 212 and UHF ultra high frequency 470 862 megahertz channels 2169. VHF was dominant in the early days of analog TV. It uses lower frequencies, which means signals can travel longer distances with less power. That's why you often see big antennas on rooftops in rural areas. However, VHF has a major problem. It's prone to interference, especially in urban areas with tall buildings. Enter UHF. Ultra high frequency became the backbone of digital TV because it offers higher bandwidth. This allows it to carry multiple HD channels, making it ideal for modern broadcasting. So, while VHF still exists for rural broadcasts and FM radio, UHF is widely used today for digital TV because of its better bandwidth and signal quality. Now let's talk about local TV channels and how we amplify weak signals. Local TV stations broadcast on either VHF or UHF frequencies, but sometimes, the signal is too weak to reach all TVs, especially if you have long cables or multiple TVs in different rooms. Here's where an RF amplifier comes in. An RF amplifier boosts weak signals to ensure clear reception across multiple TVs. This one, for example, supports 40 to 318 megahertz for VHF and 470 to 862 megahertz for UHF, covering all local and digital TV channels. Here's how it works. One, the TV signal enters the amplifier from the antenna or decoder. Two, the amplifier boosts the signal strength. Three, the amplified signal is distributed to multiple TVs using splitters and coaxial cables. If you're installing an RF amplifier, always check the frequency range to make sure it matches your local TV channels, VHF or UHF. RF networking allows you to share one TV signal source, like a decoder or antenna, to multiple TVs. This is common in hotels, offices or homes with many TVs. Here's an example of RF networking. First, the signal source, like a decoder, is connected to an RF modulator. The modulator converts the signal into RF, which can travel through coaxial cables. An RF amplifier then boosts the signal to avoid quality loss. Finally, the amplified signal is split and sent to multiple TVs. By using RF networking, you can share local and satellite channels seamlessly without needing multiple decoders. So why is UHF dominant today? The answer is simple. Modern broadcasting needs more bandwidth. UHF supports HD, 4K and digital TV, while VHF is limited to fewer channels and lower resolutions. UHF equals better bandwidth and clearer signals. VHF has a long range but is prone to noise. Most countries switch to UHF for digital TV because it provides a better experience for viewers. To wrap up, VHF and UHF are two essential frequency bands for TV broadcasting, but UHF is the standard today for its bandwidth and signal quality. RF amplifiers play a crucial role in boosting these signals, especially for RF networking setup. Key takeaways, VHF covers channels 2 through 12, is common in rural areas and is used for FM radio. UHF covers channels 21 through 69, is used for digital TV and offers better bandwidth. RF amplifiers boost signals for multiple TVs. RF networking allows you to share TV signals across TVs using modulators and amplifiers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if you have questions about RF networking or signal amplification. See you in the next video.